Hello there, this is Scott with another Saturday service. Um, it is July 13th. I had to get my day right there. Um, it is Saturday. Um, I have all the altars lit up and uh, I just finished meditating so I'm right in the right place to start this message. Um, I woke up from a dream. Um, I've been watching my dreams closely lately and I had a dream that I was giving a reading to someone couldn't remember who it was when I woke up uh, and it was just a really horrible dream and at the end of that dream I pulled the star and I placed the star upon the table and the star grew into a very large card and uh, it filled the vision uh, the the tarot reading almost became like an altar and I placed the star before them and I said um, through the challenges we must endure to endure, we must remember hope. And hope lies in the vision of our future for tomorrow. So regardless of what you are struggling with, don't lose sight of the hope, don't lose sight of the vision. And that was the most important message. After the tower comes the star. Well, what did I pull today? The star. And when I asked about what the challenge was, what did I pull today? The tower. This is a very interesting message for me because there it is, right? Like it's all there on the table. You shuffle your cards, you get a message in a dream and it lines up. And if you're a tarot reader, if you're a person who does magic or is involved mystically in any way with any of the divinatory arts, you will know that this is not a coincidence. These things happen often, regularly. I remember one time I um, interviewed with a now very big local kind of um, sprawling metaphysical um, uh, store and um, they uh, they had me do a reading for one of the owners actually all of the owners and in one of those readings I used three decks and in all three decks I showed up as the hermit um, and um, the opportunity that came through in it uh, had similar cards I think I think I pulled like you know, like the Ten of Coins and like the Six of Cups or something like that. Uh, and that had come up twice out of the two decks. In the same position, the, the Hermit arrived twice. So, uh, the, you know, the cards are not just an internal reflective, um, uh, they're not just an internal reflective, you know, like getting answer from myself, key to soul, uh, songs to the key of life, Stevie Wonder reference. I just want to draw that in there. Uh, they're also the outside talking in. Divination is is seeking out into the world and receiving a message and having it come back to us. So no coincidence, right? There's no, there's, there's no need to even make this up. This is the way that these things sort of happen. So my message for the week then was uh, based around the challenges. I've had a lot of people talk about challenges this week. You know, how many people told me that they were having a medical challenge, that they were having a financial challenge, that they were having a relationship challenge, and here it is, right? Here's, here's that challenge, here's that tower, what it's talking about. We want to uh, do the best we can in those situations, but we don't want to forget that star, that star which represents hope, which represents that light at the end of the tunnel, that guiding star that's bringing us forward. We want to remember this because this is what's guiding us. And we want to see what it is that we need to do, which is to remember when all of these things are happening, to go within, to connect to our light, and to remember our own guidance, to use our tools, to, to you know, not just trust our intuition, but really uh, get beneath that to find the sage within us, right? To find the wisdom within us and, and draw from that about what we do when we're faced with challenge and we're holding a vision of hope. How do these things come together, right? So that's essentially my message this week. Because it seems to me like it continues to be a rough ride. Like I know personally it's been a little bit of a rough ride, so I just want to... I want to stretch out this message a little bit more. Um, I, uh, I had a great meditation uh, with a wonderful friend this week. Uh, we do um, work every month, uh, just the two of us, uh, over a digital uh, medium. And, uh, you know, we work with various techniques. We've done Reiki. We were working with OM. You know, like we've done all kinds of fun things. 
And um, one of the things that really came up in the conversation, and if she's watching this, I'm sure she knows exactly what I'm talking about, is that it's both the challenge, the fear, and the horror, right? And the purpose, the hope, and the vision. And it's both of those things together. Um, we're conflict avoidant. We want to have the good. We want to feel good. And we want to say that's the spiritual. And we want to say like, ooh, this is bad. This is something that I'm going through. And this is not the spiritual. But in fact, in my, in my way of looking at things, in a lot of the ways, if we sort of frame life in this perspective, it's both of those things. It's two hands coming together. It's, it's you know, it's the horror and the hope. You know, it's, it's the, the fear and the love. It's the challenge and the vision. And it's the way that those two things come together, right? So where there's hardness, you know, we want to find that vision of love or hope or direction or purpose or whatever it is, right? Um, even purpose, even purpose can be a little hard. We can get a little stoic or we can get a little like fixed and stubborn with purpose. Like, I have my purpose, right? But we have to remember that it needs the softening of that vision. We need, we need to know what that is, right? Like we, we need that. We need that information for us. So my cards this week, and they are to remember, right? Um, out of the challenge. Remember hope. Find your wisdom to navigate the two. And that's my message for the week. I'm carrying some stones. People uh, have said they like the stones this week. I'm carrying um, this little heart. This was from my friend Laura Ellis's wedding. And um, this uh, reminds me that there is support in the world and that is loving support. I'm carrying a piece of amber. It's a nice piece that I got from uh, the Crystal Tabby. Uh, this is to bring in that sunny energy for me. Um, I am bringing in a piece of cerusite. This is naturally leaded quartz. This is helping with alchemy and transformation. I am bringing in a piece of euphorolite um, sue at Zuzu's Healing Arts um, in Massachusetts sent that to me. And this tends to do what it sounds like, euphorolite. Um, and a piece, a little, a little sphere of um, a green, um, a, a dark green jade. And those are the pieces that I'm carrying with me this week in my pocket. What are you using to sustain you? Uh, what words of wisdom are you drawing from? I was thinking of Laura Mvula this morning, Sing to the Moon. That song was really coming to me. Um, uh, what, what's carrying you? What plants, what people, what situation, what stories, what stones? Uh, what is it? Tune into those things. Remember when there is hardness to find your vision because that will give us the most sage advice on the way forward. Uh, be in your heart, not your head, uh, but not so much in your heart that you forget your head, right? Find the balance in those things. Um, we're going through it, right? Um, and I hope it's beautiful for you. And you know, I honestly hope that when you get this message, you're like, everything's cool, right? But thanks for the, for the message, Scott. I, I'd, I'd like that too. Uh, no assumptions here. Everyone has their path. Everyone's making their way through this together. So, uh, you know, lean into your resources. This is Scott Smith. Remember, the star comes after the tower. And remember the hermit to tune into your sage wisdom. Uh, blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. If you want to find out more about me, you can find me at Star and Stone, LLC. Uh, you can also see this for free on the Patreon. I do lots of free things on the Patreon there. Uh, it's become sort of like a little node for information. Uh, you can like that. You can subscribe to that there. You can subscribe to it here. Uh, you can get this message delivered directly to your inbox. I will include some additional resources at the Patreon, such as meta meditation and other things in the link that uh, might be helpful to you, so be sure to visit that patreon.com slash Scott K. Smith. Um, you can also find the link at starandstonellc.com. You know, have a great week. Blessed be.